This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Fuel pump, fuel level sensor module, replacement. Pull the hood release lever located under the steering column. Slide the hood safety latch, then raise the hood upwards. To relieve the fuel system pressure, remove the fuel pump fuse from the underhood fuse and relay box. The fuel pump fuse is the ninth fuse from the right, as indicated. Start the engine and allow it to run until it stops. This should only take a few seconds. After it stalls, try cranking the engine two or three times to confirm there is no pressure. Loosen the cable nut on the negative battery terminal, then disconnect the negative battery cable. Position the cable aside to prevent accidental reconnection. Apply the handbrake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Then raise the front of the car and support it on jack stands. Chalk the front wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Loosen the rear wheel lug nuts then raise the rear of the car and support it on jack stands. Remove the rear wheels. Disconnect the EVAP hose and the vent pipe quick connect fittings and also the fuel filler hose from the fuel tank. If there is still fuel in the tank, siphon it out. Remember, never start the siphoning action by mouth. Use a siphoning kit, which can be purchased at most auto parts stores. Support the fuel tank with a suitable lowering lifting device. If a vehicle lift is not available, a floor jack or two and a plank of wood can be used. Center the jack so as to balance the tank when the straps are removed. Use an assistance help if needed. Remove the fuel tank straps. Lower the tank slightly until the connections at the top of the fuel pump module can be accessed. Clean up any dust and debris from the top of the fuel pump. Disconnect the pump electrical connector then lower the tank a little more if necessary and disconnect the pump supply line. Slowly and carefully lower the tank completely and remove it from underneath the vehicle. Disconnect the EVAP line quick connect fitting. Note the position in which the fuel pump sits in the tank. It helps to mark the position of the top of the fuel pump module in relation to the fuel tank. Unscrew and remove the pump module lock ring. A special tool available at most auto parts stores can be used to loosen the lock ring, but a large pair of pliers will also work. Carefully pull the fuel pump module out of the tank. Angle the module as necessary to protect the fuel level sensor float arm. To replace the fuel level sensor, Trace the sensor wiring harness to its electrical connector and disconnect it. To disengage the sensor from the pump module, depress the locks on each side of the sensor with needle-nosed pliers, 
and slide the sensor out and off. When installing the sensor module, make sure that the locks snap into place, then connect the electrical connector. Remove the old O-ring, clean the mating surface on the fuel tank, then install a new O-ring. Install the pump module into the tank in the correct direction, as noted previously. Install the module lock ring. Working around the lock ring, tighten it securely. Connect the EVAP line quick connect fitting to the module. Carefully raise the fuel tank into position. Connect the fuel pump supply line and electrical connector. Raise the tank completely into the vehicle body recess, then secure the tank with the straps. Tighten the fuel tank strap fasteners securely. Remove the floor jack or tank lifting device. Connect the EVAP hose and the vent pipe quick connect fittings, and also the fuel filler hose to the fuel tank. Tighten the fuel filler hose clamp securely. Install the rear wheels and lug nuts. Lower the car to the ground and tighten the wheel lug nuts to the specified torque setting. Unblock the wheels. Lower the car to the ground. Unblock the wheels. Install the fuel pump fuse and fuse box cover. Connect the negative battery cable to the battery terminal and tighten the cable nut securely. Turn the ignition switch to the on position and allow the system to pressurize. Then start the engine. While the engine is running, check for fuel leaks at and around the fuel tank and fuel line connections.